All right, guys, welcome back to Dirty Diesel Mechanic. Today we're gonna I'm gonna show you how, how to drain a Freightliner cascaded truck radiator. If you're gonna drain the radiator, I recommend taking it right here and pointing. It can be uh, take this front plastic bumper off. It's really easy. It takes like five minutes. There's eight bolts. There's four on the left and four on the right. I'm gonna show you a little bit how to the bolts and where they are and how to take them off. They're really simple. It comes right off. It's so easy to take off. And right here where I'm pointing now is where the drain is. It's on the passenger side, closest to the passenger side. And uh, and I would recommend to turn this passenger side uh, steerage tire out and just gives you better access if you don't want to pull the bump up. But it's so much easier if you can put a drain on it, just move this bumper, it's so easy. And so uh, let's get to it. I'm gonna show you how to take the, the bolts for the bumper and show you how many turns and how I drain the drain on the, the Cascaded Freightliner radiators. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned. Alright guys, it's 18 millimeters to take this, these four bolts out to slide the, the fender out. Drain the coolant. Look, on a frail this is where it's at right here. The drain. I use this crescent wrench, big one, little tiny one with big opening. Um, and here's the drain. So let's drain it out. Hey guys, on the driver's I mean, on the driver's side, the coolant bottle on the top cap. Remove the, the cap and warning. Make sure it's, if it's hot, it can it can just be move it very slowly. I put a rag over it or have gloves and just remove it. Walk it back and forth, and so you can remove the air out of the system and then remove the cap. And it'll make the drain of the coolant and the radiator come go, come out a lot faster. Water. Guys, when you add coolant back to the system, make sure you close the drain and uh, add the coolant all the way to the top of the coolant bottle. And uh, you gotta, like, you leave the cap off and let it run for about 15 to 20 minutes to get all the air out of the system. And then after you put the cap on, let it run and then recheck it. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks again, guys, for watching Dirty Diesel Mechanic in the middle there. You push that button right in the middle there, and or look at any of these other videos in the left or the right. Please subscribe when you push the middle. That would be very helpful. And please like and subscribe, or push, put the bell for notification for new videos that I make for anything that you guys are interested. A lot more videos coming down the road. And if you want to uh, donate to the channel, the PayPal on the bottom of the comments. And thanks again. Bye. Bye, guys.